Warrior Foundation Freedom Station is building their third housing complex to help military service members transition from active duty to civilian life, and they need help to make it happen. Well, CBS 8's Brian White takes us inside Freedom Station 3. We don't know what's going to happen in the world, but we know we have to take care of our warriors. It's been a long road since Warrior Foundation Freedom Station opened its first transitional housing complex in 2011 for medically retiring warriors. And just 12 years later, they began building their third. We're going to be able to help them understand to get out of the barracks mentality and into the community mentality. The nonprofit's CEO and founder Sandy Lemcooler gave me the grand tour. This is going to be the living room and we're going to have a big screen TV we hope here. Beautiful leather furniture, dining room table will be over here. With a total of 12 units on the property, that's two duplexes and eight cottages, each one costing $125,000 to renovate. We've added four stair. Uh, heating and air conditioning. For general contractor Stan Getchman, this is a labor of love. It looks like a bomb went off in here literally, but this is my favorite part because I get to tear it down to this and then bring it back to life. They're converting these garages into a common restroom, laundry facility, and a gym, all ADA accessible. And Sandy has special plans for the courtyard. This place is going to look like a ship. When you walk in the front end, there is going to be the bow of the ship. There's going to be the flagpole. The nonprofit provides supportive programs and guidance for these warriors who have given so much to this nation. Very grateful to be able to serve my country. Hovis McNitus is a retired sergeant in the U.S. Marine Corps. He served as a scout sniper in Iraq. But during his deployment in Afghanistan, his life changed forever. We're in a town that was completely overrun by the insurgency and the whole town was booby trapped. One of his teammates kicked in a door when an IED went off and took out half the team. My teammate, his legs are blown off, other teammates are missing parts of their bodies. I'm actually missing a third of my mouth, my ear was torn off. Took over 40 some surgeries to kind of reconstruct my face to the way it looks right now. For Povis, these memories can be painful, but as he says, it's all part of the job. Just glad to be here, but. Warrior Foundation was there for Povis, providing support when he needed it most. Being able to be part of such a tight-knit community, you've got other service members that are going through other things that are very similar to what you're dealing with, and then also have the support of a foundation that understands, you know, the whole process. This animation shows what Freedom Station 3 will eventually look like. We're hoping, of course, to have it open by Valentine's Day of 2024, but we can't do it without your help. In addition to the $5 million investment to purchase the property, more than $2.5 million is also needed to renovate the cottages, and that's where donations come in. 90% of every dollar will go directly to our warriors. This I promise you. Donors can buy engraved bricks memorialized in the courtyard or find several other ways to give on warriorfoundation.org. We can change their lives. We can save their lives. At Freedom Station 3, I'm Brian White for CBS 8.